Hello, greetings. Welcome to this um, really fun pick a pile reading. I hope you get some fun inspiration from today's reading. My name is Belle. I am an intuitive card reader. I also do um, Reiki and some chakra healings and stuff like that at a distance. Uh, check out my website if you'd like your own personal reading. I also have a link to my Patreon page if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for being here. I'd also like to go over the decks of cards that I'll be using for today before I switch it over to the other uh, camera view. So I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot, two cards. I will be using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. I will be using the Angel Guide Oracle. I will be using one card each from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And I will be using the Legendary Ladies Goddess Oracle. And for the last two cards, the Sun and Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Um, think about which uh, pile you want. The first pile is Rose Quartz. The second pile is represented by Citrine. The third pile is represented by Amethyst. So... Think about which pile you want or which stone resonates with you, and I hope you enjoy your reading. Welcome again to today's Pick a Pile reading. We have Rose Quartz as Pile 1, we have Citrine as Pile 2, and we have Amethyst as Pile 3. Of course, I will start with Pile 1, the Rose Quartz. Set aside these other two piles so I'll have more space. Thank you so much again for being here. Let's see what messages and inspiration we get for today. First two tarot cards are from the Gilded Tarot. So the first card we get, oh, is Five of Swords. Some type of conflict is happening. This is interesting. I feel like you're grappling with something, some type of obstacle in your life. So, uh, and we, yeah, I'm getting a lot of um, like red energy, like some type of, I don't know, like kind of anger, kind of a, a, something that's making you angry, some type of obstacle, and you're unable to get past it at this point. It's something that's really um, making your path, your life path difficult right now. Let's see what the second card is. Well, the second card is a high priestess. So to get past your really angry obstacle, represented by the Five of Swords, you're being asked to call on your beautiful High Priestess energy instead. So it's like um, that Einstein quote, like you can't resolve an issue with the same level or the same mentality that created the issue. I'm paraphrasing, of course. You're being asked to level up and bring things to your High Priestess level rather than staying in this aspect that makes you angry and is creating this obstacle in your life path. That's really interesting. Let's go on to the Angel Guide Oracle cards. Vulnerability and freedom. What a beautiful card. I feel like you've been considering being more vulnerable and you kind of have mixed feelings about being vulnerable because of your past experience 
this card is coming across to say that you will have a greater sense of freedom if you can let yourself be more open-hearted and vulnerable. So it's giving you a little bit of a nudge or a little bit of positive inspiration for how you could, you know, again, with the highest priestess, you could get to another place in your life. It could be really beautiful. Second card from the Angel Guide Oracle is, ooh, honesty and communication. I feel like um, definitely, the, uh, obviously the throat chakra and your vocal cords are activated by this card. Honesty and communication. There's something you've been wanting to say that um, it's taking you a while to get the opportunity to say. You're kind of holding back. There's some different things you've been wanting to express either through writing or music or some other type of artistic medium, or it's about some people in your life who you've been kind of sugarcoating messages for. When you say things, you're not very honest because you've been trying to protect their feelings, but it actually ends up creating a space for you that's too small and you're not being able to be yourself. So this is about opening up to a greater sense of honesty and communication. And again, I'm noticing this high priestess energy because I see this very beautiful pink light around the character on this card. That reminds me again of the high priestess energy. Let's move on to, what is it called? This is called the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Two cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Ooh, we've got solitude. That's beautiful. Huh. So it's interesting, like we had the Five of Swords at the beginning. So I feel like you're wanting to step back a little bit and get to a place where you don't have any conflict. You're like, you know, you don't need that in your life. So you're taking some time for solitude and with this um, artistic expression that's coming through about honesty, vulnerability, freedom and communication, um, you might need some time for solitude to, in order to communicate different things, in order to express yourself in different ways. It's really interesting. The next card from Sacred Destiny Oracle is security. This is really interesting. I don't know. Security is very different from the cards we've had just now. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's put this card aside and see if it goes with any of these other cards. Okay, for Vintage Wisdom Oracle, you've got all kindred spirits. That's beautiful. Okay, so this is about uh, friendship and a sense of being at home in the world with your friends and having a sense of friendship with who you are as well. So this is really interesting. I think this could go with the security card because it's like when you have a nice foundation of people that you can be honest with and that you can talk to freely that creates a sense of security in your life because you feel better about life and you feel like it's a better, safer space for you. So that's really powerful. I really like that. Okay, here is the Legendary Ladies Goddess Oracle card. Oh, wow, it's release. Here's a mermaid. Uh, I think it's pronounced Emoja. Emoja. I'm not very familiar with this goddess, so let's look at the image. Release. I see someone who's very happy to be sharing her gifts in this card because I see that she has this star in her hand and these fish. I see someone who, it says release, but I would think of this more as share. I see someone in you who you're ready to share your gifts. Let's see what that, um, let me see, I'm getting this feeling of like, um, like worry or like a constricted feeling in my upper chest. So energetically, I feel like this is a worry or concern of yours that will you be able to honestly share your gifts? Because we have honesty and communication here. We have this conflict with the five of swords. So I feel like this is going to be part of getting over your obstacle is going to be realizing how you can share your gifts and get more comfortable with that. Okay, now we're down to the last two tarot cards. This is from Sun and Moon Tarot. Ooh, Princess of Wands. Here's that creativity energy coming in again. 
This is really powerful. And then we have Ten of Pentacles. So this is showing that you definitely get over your obstacle in pretty short amount of, a pretty short amount of time. You have your creativity, you have your freedom of expression, and this is going to pay off for you in a lot of abundance and resources, and not just monetary resources. You're also going to be making new friends, creating a new network of people that, um, a great network of beautiful people and great people because you then you'll be able to be your true self, have your honesty, communication, vulnerability, and freedom. Thank you so much for tuning in to pile number one. I really appreciate your time and energy with your being here, and I will see you next time. Hello, welcome to pick a pile number two. This is represented by the citrine. I just had a great reading for pile number one, so I'm very curious to see what comes up for pile number two. Starting with the gilded tarot cards. Let's see what you've got. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Huh, the first thing I thought of was that game show. I feel like this is about feeling some hurt around finances. That's really interesting. I, I just had deja vu. So you're feeling like your finances are up in the air and that it's out of your control, but it's actually not true. But I feel like you have a lot of hurt around your finances in the sense that things are out of your hands and your finances and in other areas of your life as well. So this is kind of uh, a card that's an energy that's pulling you down a little bit. Let's see what the second card is. Ooh, the second card is, is Knight of Pentacles. This is about creating new opportunities for yourself. You do have that uh, ability to seize your own abundance. And obviously, in honest way, seize your own abundance. <laughs> it sounds like you're just going to take something. But, you know, you got to take opportunities, and that will create real avenues of wealth in your life. So that's interesting that you're starting off with this Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles. This is all about abundance for the first part of this reading. Now let's go to Angel Guide Oracle. Ah, oh, friendship and union. So this could be a card of friendship or it could be a card of romance for some people. I feel like you've been wanting, if this is a romance card for you, I feel like you've been wanting to uh, have like a higher sense of connection. I'm getting almost a sense of my third eye and crown chakra. So I feel like you've been wanting to have a deeper connection with a soulmate and you're ready for that. And this is really something you've overcome with your sense of individuality, your sense of your creativity and who you really are as a person. So it's really cool that you're at this point now where if you're looking for romance, you will be able to find the person who is your soulmate and who you can connect with on a deep level. And in terms of friendship, if you're not looking for romance right now, I also get the sense of uh, the higher ch chakras. I feel like you're wanting to connect with people, like a soul family, and connect with people about intuition and using your gifts. Um, maybe you're into some cool new age topics and you feel like you want to meet more people who can uh, relate to you and you can talk about these topics with. That's very cool. Second card from um, Angel Guide Oracle is Interesting, take a step back. So I feel like maybe you've been worrying, which is represented by this ne kind of negative feelings with the Wheel of Fortune card. So along with that is saying, you know, take a step back from those worries, give yourself a little bit of space, and then you will be able to develop what you want through this Knight of Pentacles energy. But uh, you definitely want to not worry if there's anything you can do to take a step back and get your mind off of things that's really going to help you get to your knight of pentacles energy now this is the sacred destiny oracle cards next Ooh, relaxation so this goes with take a step back as well uh, i feel like you've been working really hard so with the wheel of fortune card you've been working really hard and you don't feel like you're getting paid uh, a fair amount for your work so this is saying, make sure you get a chance to recharge. Maybe when you're recharging, you think of other ways to create income for yourself. 
So that's pretty interesting. Second card from this deck is beautiful. I've got, gotten this card uh, in different ways recently. The transformation card. This goes along with the Knight of Pentacles as well. You're going to be transforming your life in different ways. As you take a step back, have some chance for relaxation. You're going to get some epiphanies. And it's going to lead to a greater sense of like a higher vision. Like we're getting a sense of some of the higher chakras with either a soulmate or soul family. So that this transformation is going to be a big part of that for you. Now we have one vintage wisdom oracle card. Oh, we have listening. Huh. All, all these little birds, like someone is in a garden or something. Listening. Huh, what is this about? I feel like this is just about real like, connection with people. We've gotten the friendship and union card right here. And let me see, listening. Oh, I'm not getting that much of an energetic sense of this card. I think it's like literally, it could be like your inner self talk, like uh, observing and listening to what you're saying to yourself. I've been watching a lot of stuff about that recently. Um, so that's interesting for a lot of people. I feel like that's coming up a lot. But I don't know if that's necessarily what this card is for. I'm not getting that much of a feeling about this card. Listening. I know listening is important. Let's look at the next card, which is the Legendary Ladies Goddess Oracle. This is beautiful. It's the Goddess Sedna. Um, and the key word is cleansing. Hmm. So I feel like with listening, it's going to be something new is coming through for you. So you're kind of observing and listening to your life and you're like, you know, what's really happening? Like, how can I live a little bit differently, but not like push that, like have a sense of transformation, but how to be kind of a natural organic sense of transformation. And you may be going through a natural, just kind of organic cleansing process at the same time. Um, interestingly, we got a mermaid goddess card for the first pick a pile as well. So it is interesting that so many mermaids are coming up, kind of like this ocean of consciousness idea. Hmm. This is really interesting. Definitely a different energy for this pick a pile. You can really see how this works out. Okay, now let's go to the sun and moon tarot cards. Oh, three of cups. This is so cool. So many soulmates, soul family, and friendships are coming through. We had the friendship and union card. Now we have the three of cups. I know it's the pandemic right now as of the creation of this video, but in different ways, you're going to be able to celebrate with your peers, your friends, everyone who you have a connection with. With um, You are going to be able to have a sense of community and friendship and celebration with them. That's really special. I feel like you've really been wanting to have that network of people who you can really have a soul sense with and you've been feeling kind of stuck about that, but it's showing that there's some new things coming for you around the corner. Oh, that's interesting. We got Princess of Wands in the first pick a pile, and here we have Prince of Wands. So there's also this very solid, confident, creative energy coming through. It's actually almost like a chariot card because of the image. He's on a chariot. So it's about going back to that Knight of Pentacles energy um, you're going to be charging forward with the momentum that's right for you. It's going to be this like beautiful celebration. It's going to be amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really enjoyed doing this uh, set of inspirational cards for you and I will see you next time. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to pile number three, which is represented by the amethyst. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, we've gotten some great readings so far, so I'm excited to see what cards you get. First, we're starting with the Gilded Tarot. First card is the Fool. Beautiful new beginnings, a fresh start. Well, so I feel like you've been wanting to kind of start over, like kind of remake something about yourself, not in a negative way, in this way about reinventing yourself for this next stage of your life. This is very positive. I'm getting a very like uplifting sense of energy, kind of like how the fool is dancing in this card. It's definitely a very good energy with that card. Oh, interesting. We have this card of transformation known as the death card. 
And with that, I'm getting kind of a blocked sense of energy in my throat chakra. So I was like, what do you want to express that will help lead to transformation? So we've almost got like two different sides to transformation here. We've got the new beginning that's refreshing and beautiful. And we've got kind of this ominous like sense of trans transformation with the death card. It's almost kind of oppressive or maybe like something's trying, something, some kind of worry is holding you back because you actually want to transform in a positive way. So that's really interesting. Let's see what other cards we get. Oh, interesting. This card says no. So you might be faced with a choice right now. You're wondering, should you, should you risk it all or should you take a step back? I'm thinking with the death card, it's like a little bit of ominous energy with the death card. So even though you want a fresh start, I'm thinking don't risk it all. If there's some way you can take healthy risks, but not extreme or gigantic risks. This card is demonstrating that you've, you've wanted to do something that's a little foolhardy, no pun intended. Uh, it's probably not a good time for that. Let's look at this second uh, angel guide oracle card. Forgiveness and understanding. Whoa. That's really interesting. I'm getting this like... Definitely this orange energy kind of throughout my body, like my feet chakras, kind of like up from my chest, up through my forehead. Forgiveness and understanding. Huh. Um, this is interesting, all this orange and golden light energy. I feel like you haven't been seen eye to eye with someone in your life. There's been some type of argument or misunderstanding, you really don't feel like you can communicate effectively with one particular person in your life. You're feeling like really shut down about this. You're feeling like you don't understand how you're supposed to move forward with this person's ideas um, on the table as well. You just, it's this very kind of like stuck energy so like, listen to your gut feeling about this. You, you've already gotten the no card. So make sure there's real understanding in your relationships with friends and family and anyone else. And forgiveness can mean like releasing something. So use your best judgment to get to some type of resolution. Uh, it seems like this is something that has really been bothering you recently. Let's see what the Sacred Destiny Oracle has for you. <gasps> miracles! Look at that! It's kind of like this dark setting and then there's rainbows. It's called Miracles. A very interesting energy coming through for your card reading. Um, miracles? I feel like Miracles almost goes with the Death card somehow. So there's going to be some kind of opposition or some kind of like um, getting an idea of like a huge um canyon like this canyon that you have to cross you don't know how to cross it but there's going to be some type of obviously as a miracle the canyon um it's going to be some type of miracle that occurs that allows you to get past this canyon or this rift or this obstacle on your life path so that's going to be really beautiful but the thing about miracles is it's like stepping into the unknown you can't be sure what exactly is going to happen until it happens so this is like taking a chance on the unknown a little bit letting yourself be open to miracles at the same time of course using your best judgment at all times second sacred destiny oracle card oh it's delight it's a little beautiful songbird that says delight so this is like uplifting the energy again going back to the fool card that buoyant dancing beautiful energy also known as um, joy or delight, getting this sense of flying free like a bird. That's really beautiful. It's interesting that like I feel like there's this divide with the energy in your cards right now for pile number three. You've got kind of these serious cards with forgiveness and understanding, no, and the death card. And then you've got this opportunity to go for the lighter side of life. With this dancing fool card and the cards that are about miracles 
And now this, I would call it the joy and delight card. It's really beautiful. Let's see what your vintage wisdom oracle card is. Oh, interesting, it's protection. Hmm. So there's this like white dress. This uh, lady is wearing a white dress and there, she's kind of symmetrically surrounded by these white swans. It's kind of like a very set up pose, not a very natural pose. Um, protection. Hmm. I think this goes with the miracles card. Like, even though you're always using your best judgment, you're also feeling this need for some type of divine intervention, if that's something you believe in. But um, some kind of, kind of um, thing, some kind of good, positive thing emerging from the unknown in life and giving you some type of help, which could t um, be understood as protection to you, whether it's, I don't think it's a literal sense of physical protection, it might be like shielding yourself from people who aren't seeing eye to eye with you because we had this forgiveness and understanding card and if you're being misunderstood and you feel like there's something a little bit of a conflict happening that you need to release this is saying that you are going to get that emotional protection that you need and one way of assuring that is to go ahead and uh, match up with this full energy, this dancing, and joyful energy. Okay, let's see what your Legendary Ladies Goddess card is. Renewal. This is beautiful. Uh, renewal is a fruit tree. Like, what? what is this fruit that you're planting that's going to come and bloom in your life? The goddess is Si Wang Yu. I'm not very familiar with this goddess. I love how they use so many different goddesses in this deck. Renewal. This is beautiful. Yes, this is really about, I'm really drawn to that fruit tree. This is really about how you're going to bring everything to fruition. You are starting this new era in your life. Excuse me. And it's going to be a sense of renewal and Really beautiful things come into fruition for you. Okay, let's see. We've got Sun and Moon Tarot for your last two cards. Interesting, Ace of Swords. So you're just gonna basically like use your beautiful mind to cut through any ominous energy that's coming through. You've already got this sense of protection. To finish off all of that, you're gonna use your mind to your advantage. You're going to use your beautiful shining mind and your very logical intellect, and you're going to get through this, and you're going to be able to reach out for this new renewal energy that's coming through. The very last card, no way, it's really funny. The very last card is the death card, and here it's known as death and rebirth. This is showing that you've really gone through some type of personal crisis recently. You had this death and rebirth happening. That's incredible that both of those cards came up for you. But the very first card, remember, is this beautiful Fool card about starting fresh. Not only did you get the Fool card, you got all these other positive cards, and you got this sense of renewal and things coming to fruition. So I'm just really delighted, um, delight card. <laughs> I'm just really delighted with this um, very potent energy coming through for your reading. I'm really happy, like congratulations on going through such a uh, challenging time and getting to the other side. I'm really happy for you. So that's all I have for you for today. Thank you so much for tuning into this card reading and I will see you next time. Hello, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I feel like we got so many really distinct energies coming through for the three different three different readings, the three different piles. So I just wanted to say again, thank you for tuning in. It's really um, special for me to be able to create these card readings for you. It's really a joy. Uh, intuition is amazing. So I just hope to share some inspiration and intuition with you and just encourage you to get the most out of your life. Um, so sometimes I like to watch all three readings or more of a pick a pile reading if I'm just kind of curious about like what kinds of different messages I can get. But um, I'm sure you probably picked one pile. But just thank you so much for being here. That's what you
good time. I'd like to really do more of these pick-up pile readings. It's just like so much fun. There's so much different dynamics that can come through with all the different decks. Uh, okay, I'm going to edit now. So thank you so much, and I will see you soon.